Despite the hive mind, first step is if you're having thoughts or feelings that you don't. Hey, Phoenix is rising, Coach T. Uh, yeah, go back and watch the rest of that because I have talked about this hive mind. She's talking about it as, as I believe, um, a, a synthetic thing, which it is, but I've actually dealt with groups, races of people, a race of people who are Borg mind, like a Borg mind. Uh, so, and they, they, that's the way that they've always functioned. Right. That's the way that they they are. They've kind of grafted themselves into American culture and have been able to take away, take, you know, parts of it and and eat just seamlessly. And we've all been told that. Um, but nobody wants to listen and I'm not going to keep bringing it up. I've talked enough about it in my in my podcast on YouTube. If you guys want to go and look at it um, and people call me a racist and that's when, when people can't, sometimes when people can't deal with stuff, they call, call other people racist. And I know because I was doing it until I woke up and realized that it was a deflective tool and it made me feel powerful for a a certain moment when somebody was just trying to get me to, to think rationally because they thought more of me than I was thinking of myself. And I know that may split people's noodles, but you know, when you start really doing work, you start really finding out who you have to really find out who you are before you level up. And so anyway, but this Borg mind is uh, something that I've talked about, when, especially when dealing with gang, gang stalking and uh, uh, re- realizing that if the reason why it feels like everybody is around you and everybody when you're being swarmed is because you literally are. If it's not physically, it's energetically because of the, the rituals, um, the occult practices that these guys actually have. Like I from California, you know, dealing with it, gang stalking and whatnot, sorry, dealing with gang stalking and whatnot. Uh, they I mean, like I would I twice they were uh, it was at a department complex and I was over in the Bay Area uh uh, outside of, uh, Oakland or whatever. And, uh, San, or San Francisco. And, uh, these guys were dressed in red and black. Like I said, they, mine wear Nazi colors and, and, but it's, it's Azazel. It says there was Santa Muerte worship. And if anybody knows anything about Santa Muerte, Santa Muerte requires that you give her a sacrifice and people try and dumb it down and people try and say, oh, you know, she's like the Mary Magdalene or whatever. You know, she's she's like M- Mother Mary, and she's not. She is a little, she, it, it is not even a she. It's an it. It's something that was created by the Catholic Church, but you can't tell them that. They're going to fight you over it, literally. And then they're going to curse you and do rituals over you for you to die and all this other kind of stuff. So that's what I've personally experienced as a um, targeted individual survivor. And so I'm grateful that I'm coming across these. I don't know what it is. It's lately this this uh, Mercury retrograde seems to be. It's really rough ride, but it seems to be revealing, or and confirming at least for me, um, things that I've already said. So I grasp at the I, you know at the chance to be able to say, see, it's not just me and my imagination, um, or, or you know what the Most High is has. Uh, told me, my spirit team has told me, it's like, well, no, these guys, like she, I think she's talking again, synthetically, um, where it's being created that we all have the, you know, Borg mind, uh, Google, uh, representative, I forget what his title was or his name, but if you go look it up, he was thinking, we don't want you to be able to, um, get online and do type in the search bar something and have many different documents or or references or definitions we want you to have one definition right now what does that say that's a bored mind you know so when one one person would get hurt right then everybody else would feel it even though it didn't happen to them they would absorb that person's hurt into the circuit into the unit and then act accordingly. So that's why you have multiple people who are attacking you because they're all of that Borg mind. It's more than a club. It's more than a cult. It's literally, they're all synced. You know, like if we watch Star Trek, that's that's what it is. And so I think they're, if anything, they're speeding it up um, with technology, right? Uh, and <laughs> trying to get us all to think that way. And, uh, you know, which is weird, but, you know, at one point it's weird because, and I've said this before, like the wheel turned three or four months ago, five months ago, I believe, um, what in April, basically that wheel turned, I saw it. 
with my spiritual eyes and, and God was showing me the wheels turning back just like God showed me you know I see when people are trying to attach their disability somebody tried to dis, uh, give me their dislocated hip so they didn't have to uh, deal with it like literally you know met them saw them made of you know that it makes you afraid to kind of run into people because people are revealing themselves as the creatures that they are right like we all have another identity that we don't see because we're in this realm you know we're in this realm but we are higher you know some of us do look alien but that's a whole nother <laughs> whole nother thing that that I don't think that people are ready for because people are still trying to process you know spiritually intellectually like <laughs> how is it that I have been harassed and stalked and slandered and they keep doing this, these, this, this, you know, um, these using these tactics and it's been, you know, one year, three years, seven years, eight years, 10 years, you know, how is it? Like I've, I've heard of TI's, uh, targeted individuals having to deal with stalking for 20 years and here I am, right? Uh, like I said, about 15 years later. And, you know, but it's amazing. And I am, it's not that I'm fascinated with their, what they do, but it is, it is a hive mind. It's just amazing that these guys, you have a group who has been willing because they were pre cluster, they were screened for plus cluster B personality in the first place. So that's why I said gang stalking through InfraGuard is a cluster B sorority with for you know for their flying monkeys you know with them and their flying monkeys and the, it's it's they love each other but yeah that that's that hive mind so i'm grateful that they're talking about it like they're just uh, uh, go back and, and watch the rest of it so i just wanted to point that out your blessings are in your ashes phoenixes right